Caroline's Corner. It will all make sense right about now when we introduce Miss Caroline in her corner. What the heck is going on behind you? What's up, Gary? Welcome back to Caroline's Corner. It's been a minute. And we've covered a lot of games today, but also we've covered a lot of really cool moments this season. So what better way to put a little bow on the regular season than to give our favorite moments the most distinguished award in the MLB. And it's not a Cy Young, it's not a Golden Glove, it is the unofficial, official MLB award, the Corny. Yeah! Well Our first award category is gonna be the most swag player in baseball. And I, this is my favorite award, because 10 years ago, we couldn't use the word swag to describe a baseball player. So these are all really cool guys that have kind of changed the, the shift of MLB baseball so far. So our first nominee for the most swag player is of course our favorite guy, Fernando Tatis Jr. I mean, just look at this guy's moves. He is swag. And next up, we have the entire Chicago White Sox. <laughs> because look how cool they are. They are the coolest people ever. I just want to hang out with them. Get and finally, time. last but not least, we've got Mookie Betts. And not only is he one of the best players in the league, look at those cleats. He is the cleat king of LA. So guys, who's your pick for the most swag player in the, NBA, in the MLB? All right, Clint, do you want to start? Yes, as the only human in America that owns a large format print of the Aaron Tatis poster that the San Diego Padres took in his most iconic pose ever, I'm going with Tatis, okay? This is not that hard for me. I'm going to go with the Chicago White Sox. I love wow. that. I love the swag that they bring as a group. It's a team effort. We saw in our last show the enormous chains that they rock on the field on a night-to-night -night basis. They're the team that I think are pushing unwritten rules forward as, as far as they can over the course of the last couple of years between Tim Anderson's bat flip uh, and everything else that's going on right now. My pick is Chicago White Sox, although, you know, Fernando Tatis is, has a soft spot in my heart. There so. are no wrong answers, but our budget only allows for one trophy, so the Chicago White Sox, we can't buy everyone a trophy. I'm rocking with Yates on this one. Him, Tatis, and Mookie Betts are neck and neck, but Tatis makes brown and gold look good. And I've been saying it all season, nobody makes it look as good in brown and gold as Dwight Schrute. So Yates, I'm with you, man. Fernando Tatis, most swaggiest player in Major League Baseball. Caroline, what's next? Well, our winner of this corny, Gary, money is no object. It goes to the Chicago White Sox. Hey. They all get a trophy. They are by oh. far the most swag team in the MLB. I mean, when you look at Giolito, you've got our guy T.A. Getty in the bank. They, by far, are the most swag team in baseball. So your, your cornies are in the mail, Chicago White Sox. Okay. So our next corny, we've got the most impressive performance, just the coolest game that just really had a really cool really cool impact on baseball. So first we've got Adam Wainwright. So Adam Wainwright pitched a complete game on his 39th birthday, and he's the oldest player to throw a nine inning complete game since Bartolo Colon, who did so at 44 years old in 2017. And we've also got Tatis versus the Rangers, because he didn't just hit a three run homer and a grand slam, he also solved world hunger and is now the president and everything. And then also we've got the Chicago no hitters. So Lucas Giolito first hit, uh, pitched a no-hitter, and then Alec Mills did it. We got the White Sox and the Cubs. Just a really exciting season for Chicago. And y'all know how much that hurts me by saying that. I'm a St. Louis girl, but really, really cool season for Chicago. So what are y'all's thoughts? Yates, we'll start with you. So I've got to pick the Giolito thing because I was watching that live. And listen, I know that I'm a Tatis guy, but I was so fired up about the White Sox no-no and the play behind him as well as how well Giolito was pitching. I called my buddy Lawrence Holmes' radio show in Chicago just as a regular caller to chime in <laughs> on what I was watching because I was that pumped up and wanted to hear people say it. So that's how pumped I was. I vote for that. First time, long time. Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, the yeah. uh, Fernando Tatis uh, game where he just broke all of the unwritten rules. Uh, that was the most exciting baseball thing just to see all of the old school, you know, 
starchy baseball people get angry over a guy hitting a grand slam <laughs> and stealing third base. Uh, that just made my heart sing. The so. biggest proponent of Tatis Jr. not supposed to hit that grand slam. His freaking manager! What are we even doing? Give me uh, Adam Wainwright because he's a farmer in his spare time. So all of us have different answers. Uh, who gets the corny, Caroline? Well, according to the Academy, there are no unwritten rules in baseball. It goes to Tatis. Clinton is a Tatis guy. I'm a Tatis girl. That was the coolest game ever. And he solidified himself as a heavy hitter in the league. And he's a baby. He's only 21 years old. And after that game, I think people really started to take him seriously. So coolest performance goes to you, Tatis Jr. That was kind of his national breakout game. OK, what's it was. next? Yeah, it was a cool game. People were so, talking about baseball. Mm -hmm. People talk about <laughs> baseball. Tell your friends. <laughs> right. So speaking of unwritten rules, my favorite way to just stick it to the man in baseball is the bat flip. So our best bat flip of 2020. First up, we've got Jordan Leplo with the sidearm Patrick Mahomes type of bat flip. And then we've got Ronald Acuna Jr. who hit an absolute 495 foot bomb and then said get out of here and also this one Wilson Contreras there was no gravity look at that that was the most incredible bat flip I've ever seen gravity just decided to just not work with Wilson Contreras' bat flip so I want to hear y'all's thoughts about the best bat flip so far this season we got Yates so here's the deal is that the reason why bat flips look so funny in Major League Baseball is because they don't happen that often. But at the lower levels of the game, the bat flips are not nearly as natural as they think. Contreras is flipping the bat like a high school kid playing in a showcase summer league whacking that thing up in the middle of nowhere and when you get the other building cam basically showing it going <laughs> into orbit like it's some meme gone wrong i'm sorry it's Contreras by a mile and it's not even close i love this yeah i think it's wilson Contreras. i mean like when you have a second angle where you you can't even see any other players <laughs> on that angle like you're literally just seeing the seats the empty seats and then just a bat flying through the air I feel like it's kind of a runaway. Nobody is wrong with these answers. So, Caroline, I'm going to go with C, all of them. Give them all awards. That's very fair. But there can only be one winner. There's no participation participation trophy in the cornies, so it's unanimous. It's got to go to Contreras. That was just absolutely the most insane bad flip I've ever seen, and I love the energy. And that concludes the first annual uh, edition of the Cornies. We'll see you next year, Caroline. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys much. so much. And I'll goodbye see you all next to your year. corner.